My name's Terrell Thornhill. I'm a artist, mostly self-taught. My medium is primarily screen printing. I'm fascinated by the nature of printing. It's a perfect combination of engineering, art, chemistry, and doing things in a certain order. Trusting the process without any idea of the outcome. I like that. Screen printing is basically taking a stretched screen in a frame, a very fine mesh screen, and creating a stencil on it, and forcing ink through the stencil to make an impression on the other side. That concept has remained the same. Way back in the day, and I mean like in the tw 1920s and even before, well, I guess until the 20s, screen printing was done very differently. It was done by hand. It was uh, generally done with one or two screens, depending on what they were doing. The reduction method was using one screen and virtually unlimited amount of colors, and that fascinated me. The process was made famous by the select scene company in San Francisco in the, up until the 1920s. I could find very, very little about this information, so I ended up pulling the select scene machine patents and reverse engineering them just to see how the process was done so I could do it and reproduce it manually. The first piece I did reductively, I learned a lot. It taught me a lot. Uh, it was a 22 color or 22 impressions. The second one was a 32 color piece. My latest piece, The Invitation, was uh, 57 stencils, 86 colors using one screen, each stencil created by hand in an exploration of this process, and uh, it taught me a great deal. <laughs> Good thing I love the process. So I wanted to reproduce an oil painting just to see how close I can get and also to do something a little challenging. Well, finding another artist that would allow me to reprint an extensive version of their work uh, was in itself challenging. That in itself was <laughs> raised a, a lot of questions. Okay, well, who owns the prints and who signs the prints and what happens if you sell the prints and, and who gets what? And I was like, okay, fine, I'll paint my own. When you're looking at paintings, like an oil painting, the temptation is to blend. That's what oil painting does beautifully. That's, that's, uh, that's kind of its wheelhouse. It, it blends. Screen printing doesn't allow you to do that, especially uh, if you're doing a reduction print. I called it the invitation because the scene itself is out of my imagination. It's out of my head. It's out of my memories. It's a garden scene. The garden scene represents my past. The archway itself was clipped out of a Southern Living magazine that I found when I was in the eighth grade. I just thought the archway was beautiful, standing in the darkness looking out on something beautiful. And I kept that all these years. I'm 53 now. I took the scene out of the original photograph and inserted my own. The great oak tree in the center is almost identical to the one that I played under as a child at my grandparents' house. The mimosa tree over on the right. My grandmother had a mimosa grove that I would play in climb those trees. I love the way they smell, the beautiful pink blooms, the plants scattered around. Around the base of the tree there's red clover flower that you see on the side of the roads in Mississippi. Fields of crimson in the springtime. My favorite time. It means things are warming up and it's not going to be cold anymore. I hate being cold. 
I had said early that screen printing is the perfect combination of art and engineering and chemistry and chance. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. And that's true. You start with an aim in mind. You start with a picture in mind. And then something else happens. Something more wonderful happens. It has a life of its own. It lives and it breathes. You never quite get what you expected to get. And that in itself has taught me so much. To be happy with what you have. To, to be amazed of how it reveals itself. That's why I like screen printing. You lower the screen. You fill it with ink. You pull the ink across a stencil that one moment before you lift it up you don't know what you're gonna get never know what you're gonna get and it's, it's like Christmas morning every time you lift that screen yeah how wonderful how wonderful is that I'm content with my methods. And I think there's something to be said for fumbling through the darkness, figuring out as you go. Each piece teaches me something, teaches me a lesson that I did not know before, that I will always remember, always be thankful, and you will see each one of these lessons show up somewhere in my subsequent pieces. That's what I like about the process. To be able to spend one year, one year of my life, looking at the same piece, painstakingly producing the same piece for one year. <laughs> you have to be in love with the process. It was difficult. It was amazingly difficult in some places. But those difficulties are left turns. It's an opportunity to learn. It's an opportunity to learn something that you didn't know. Figure something out. Screw it up really badly. And then fix it. Triumph over your uh, ignorance. My method has taught me so, so much. So much is applicable in other areas of my life, like relationships, how to treat people. I'm, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm very proud of the finished piece. You know, it, it, it's a version of the oil painting. It's not a it's, a, it's a reproduction of the oil painting. But I don't consider the oil painting the final piece. I consider the oil painting like a photograph. It's beautiful in itself and it's, it's uh, way more depthy than the reproductions or the screen prints. But I do consider the, the prints I consider those the final piece because that's my medium. That's what I do. I don't, I've had some people tell me that as far as the reduction method, that this is probably a world record uh, to, uh, for what it's worth. You know, um, I just wanted to see what, I just wanted to see what was possible. I, I probably won't tr attempt anything as ambitious simply because of what it took from me. But you know, it's kind of like I said before, God, it took so much from me. But it gave me so, so much more in return. So much more. It taught me patience. 
perseverance, tenacity, stubbornness. It taught me to take my own advice, enjoy the process. Enjoy the process. Getting there is half the fun. It taught me so much more.